What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Waifu Ju video. Today we are doing the top 10 catchers in MLB The Show 22. We are going to be doing all primary catchers and we're going to rate them from 1 to 10 and who I think is the best in the game. These are my opinions, so if you think somebody is better than I do, I'm sorry, but these are the guys that I think are the best. Then we're gonna put some honorable mentions before, and those are gonna be guys that maybe have secondaries or just didn't fit inside the top 10. Let's get into it. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And if you guys have anybody that you really like and really love to use this year, let me know who it was and who you guys got P5'd, all right? So let's get right into the list. And to start it off, I do wanna say shout out to everybody in the comments from the other video that told me to raise my camera now we can see the speed we're all set we're filling a dead space we're making adjustments all right number one honorable mention is going to be this 99 dalton var show i don't think he's a great card by any means but he's pretty good he's a lefty catcher if you don't like joe mauer for whatever reason you want a lefty catcher here's a good option he's a secondary over there he's also really fast he has 80 84 speed at catcher that's Illy. All right. Another honorable mention is Taylor Ward. This card also is a catcher secondary. He plays all over the field. He's in a couple of videos already, and here he is back on this list. Again, 84 speed at catcher. He's actually a really, really good option over there behind a the dish, and he's actually one of the best, but he's a secondary, so he's not in the top 10 honorable mention. And the best honorable mention in the game is going to be Jimmy Fox. I think he's the best catcher in the game, so take that for what you will, but he has a secondary, so he doesn't quite make the top 10 list, but he's on here because I think if you have Jimmy, he should be at catcher. That's just me. Here he is. Now moving on to the list, number 10 is going to be this Ivan Rodriguez, the Puerto Rican catcher. He is one of the best to ever do it for the Texas Rangers, and he was a dog. 70 speed on catcher is pretty good. He has maxed out contact versus both sides. He actually gets over 100 power versus righties, which reverse splits pretty cool, and uh, he gets over 110 vision after a couple parallels. So it's a pretty good card. I've just never liked his swing, and I think a lot of people will agree with me that his swing is not the best. Stat-wise, this guy is is really really good he had to make the list at least in some capacity he also plays second base which is really really odd i don't get that but you know, there he goes at number nine we have a finest 99 overall gary carter from 1982 gary carter is a weird one i've never liked him in the past but this year he had seemingly a better card especially the the collection one early in the year was pretty solid surprisingly uh this one is only not great because versus lefties he's amazing 120 122 but versus righties leaves a lot to be desired 103 100 is not really what you want in a righty meta i don't fully think i'm committed to his swing yet either i think it's better than we all thought but it's still not the best the biggest issue with catcher in this game is that a lot of them just don't have great swings so it's it gets really difficult to find really really good catchers that's why when some of the newer legends that we got this year were super exciting and having guys like dalton varsho and taylor ward are cool for the secondary positions because they give us some better swing options so gary is one of those guys it's okay uh, the great fielding though and if you're a gary carter fan you want to fill out a nationals team or a mets team eh, pretty good not great not bad at number eight we have 99 overall will smith this card came out with gary carter in the finest program one of the last programs of the year gary carter is the last card in that program but i do think will smith is actually better his swing is much better he has live series quirks the stats are more or less the same he's a little bit worse versus lefties in terms of power and vision but i do think he's just a better swing and again the quirks make his pci just a little bit bigger usually will smiths have reverse splits this one doesn't so that's interesting and new of will smiths but it's cool that he got a 99 for once. And if you ever use them in BR, here's a good chance to use them on your ground squad. At number seven, we have one of the best 99 cards from a couple of years ago. This card came out in MLB to show 20. And he was my end game catcher that year. This Salvador Perez was so good. There was not a single lefty in that game that was good. So 125, 112 versus righties was insane. And that year, I was just cracked with this guy's swing. So it was really nice to see. He got a flashback card because as opposed to last year, he did not get a million 99 overall diamonds. He just got the one. Salvi is back. He also plays first base, which is pretty cool. 112, 125 power at a catcher is amazing. And to get him P2, he gets 90 contact for his left. So it's at least pretend usable, but not so much against Randy. But that's just kind of the world you live in, yeah? Uh, 84 fielding is good enough. The blocking is good enough. He is just really slow at 32 speed but this guy is a slugger and if you can get used to his swing it is really really good and he hits for a lot of home runs so give salvi a try pretty sure this was a free card too just sitting there in the program so go pick him up and give him a shot if you never use salvi you'll be pleasantly surprised at number six is probably the most surprising 
card in terms of stats that I've ever seen. <laughs> I never thought we'd get a Joe Torre that looked this good. It, when he came out, this was one of the best offensive cards in the game as a whole. The only reason he's this low on this list is, again, same reason a lot of catchers are pretty low. His swing is really just meh it's not great it's not bad it's okay i don't get a lot of great exit velos with it doesn't land a lot of home runs despite the 117 115 power but i mean the stats are there he plays first and third as well and he's really good at all those positions realistically uh 56 speed is nothing too terrible behind the dish and he's a good enough fielder again 90 blocking he has 83 arm that'll get it done behind the plate joe torrey not a bad option he's pretty interesting and a card that if you've never used a joe might as well give him a shot and see if you like him at number five is the i think only non 99 on this list and it is 97 overall mike napoli when mike napoli got announced into MLB the show i was like "Ooh, that could be a fun card he'll probably have low vision but have like max style power and that could be really cool he's had a decent little career in the league and kind of cool to see him this Mike Napoli was complete opposite. Maxed out contact and then almost 120 power he gets at P5. I had him at P4 versus righty. So reverse splits, max contact, a great swing. It sucks that the power versus left wasn't better, but that's just power. Like you can kind of get over that. Again, you don't face a whole lot of lefties in this game and you're going to have a big PCI. So this Mike Napoli was really, really good. We got him as a BR reward, not even a flawless one, but a BR like 90 star reward. And he was one of the best catchers in the game until the 99s really started rolling in. I still think he is one of the best options in the game. I just don't really see anybody using them because this guy was in the rotation for quite a while. But 97 Mike Napoli, it's a shame we never got a 99 version. He would probably be number one on this list because this guy was an absolute dog at number four we have everybody's favorite by everybody i mean me switch hitting catcher jorge posada the yankee legend is always a card that has an amazing swing just the numbers never really back up using him except this year this year they really juiced him out he was in the team affinity with all the legends for the face of the franchise this year he can also play first and second which is really really strange his gold defense in second base this jorge who was never a great defender in real life has a pretty decent defensive unit here switch hitter gets over 115 for both sides with power which is crazy and he actually gets over 120 versus left the one main weakness of this card is the 103 Three contact versus righties if that was swapped with the 112 contact versus lefties if they just switch the two this card would actually probably be another tier up but those are not switched and he is a little worse versus righties which is not super great for him but i do think this card's amazing he's number four a switch hitter and i love hip hip jorge now we have number three on this list this is not a card a lot of people have gotten to use this season because he is a world series reward he was in the same world series pack as roy holiday as well so if you're gonna pick between the two you were likely getting roy holiday just because he was the new legend his card early in the year was amazing and this one was a no hitter card so it, it makes a lot of sense that not many people have used mike piazza and i am one of them he is specifically not number one or two on this list because i have not used him and sometimes mike's swing is better than others he has had really good swings in the past he's had really bad swings in the past it's kind of a crapshoot on which one they give him 99 mike piazza is 125 125 125 110 versus left with a 114 vision that's almost as good of a card as you can get that's like jimmy fox type stuff we're seeing here the numbers are there is 50 speed which is pretty good 88 blocking is gonna get it done usually mike piazza cards don't have the best of defense this one's really not even that bad at one parallel he has 80 arm that's fine enough for a catcher i don't love catcher defense if you guys can't tell catcher defense to me doesn't mean a whole lot at all so mike the numbers just speak for themselves if you have the stubs and you want to go spend the mill on them go try them out i'm not particularly interested but he is an option for you guys and he makes the dodgers and mets team the number two catcher in the game is going to be 99 adley rushman adley has the things going for him that jorge doesn't he's better versus righties and that's why he is a couple of spots ahead of him right i think the jorge card is a more balanced hitter across the board than this adley rushman adley is actually significantly worse versus lefties than say jorge is versus righties but you're facing lefties way less often so it doesn't really hurt him as much again another switch hitter the 99 fielding is crazy also 63 speed out of catcher is really really good again i've mentioned that a couple of times but speed is really really nice to have and the lower it is the kind of more 
you notice it. I'm looking at you, Yasmani Grandal. Uh, but Adley is a guy that a lot of people really, really love. I've never really gotten it going with any of his cards in the past. This one, his prospect card from last year, his future stars cards. I've never really got it going with him, so I tend to ignore the Adley Rushman hype. But it's hard to deny how well balanced and just well split this card really is. 122, 116 stock versus righties is insane. He gets up to 125 and 121 at P5 too. So A is just a beast. He, he's going to mash him, guys. And that's pretty nice. And the number one catcher in the game is no other than 99 overall Joe Maurer. The best catcher swing, especially from a lefty. He really reminds me a lot of a better and upgraded version of the Kyle Schwarber catcher that we got last year. This one's just better across the board. He can defend. He has 57 speed, which is pretty good. Almost maxed out versus righties. And he has just max contact in general. He actually gets almost max vision too. So really, really good. The only knock is that he doesn't quite get up to 100 power versus left, but that's kind of okay because again, you're facing righties more often than not. And he gets up to 120 power versus right. 125, 120 for a catcher on the left side. Pretty hard to ignore. I wish he had a secondary. I wish he could play, you know, third or first or something like that just to maybe give more options to get him and somebody else on the field also. So that kind of sucks out of him. But Joe was a new legend. We were all excited for him. And this card matches every single mark we could have ever asked for out of a Joe Maurer card and out of a catcher in general. So there you have it, guys. Our top 10 catchers in MLB The Show 22. Those are all the primaries with some honorable mentions in their secondary positions. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like it down below and comment who, again, was your favorite catcher overall this year. And if you have any P5, who you got P5 and what number you got them in as well. All right. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel to stay tuned for more videos like this coming in the future. As we get ready for MLB to show 23, we're going to wrap up this game with a nice pretty bow and get to move in towards the future. So enjoy this while you guys got it. Make sure you leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.